Good morning and welcome to your third lesson in the AJS 37 Vigan conversion course. Do not press any buttons or switches unless instructed to do so. If you have a throttle on your joystick or HOTAS, please move the throttle to the idle position. If at any time you need a break, press pause. Today you will learn about the takeoff procedures and actually fly the aircraft for the first time. Before takeoff, always make sure the master mode selector is in mode nav. Make sure the HUD reflector glass is in the lower position in order to display the takeoff symbology. Confirm that the Spock autopilot light is on. If not, press the button labeled Spock to engage the autopilot damper. Because there is little wind today and good runway conditions, we do not have to make a manual course setting. The aircraft will automatically determine the initial course based off of the takeoff runway thanks to the pre-programmed airbase information from the data cartridge. Before you take off, we will briefly review the afterburner indicator. On the lower part of the front panel, there are three afterburner lights. One, two, and three indicate which afterburner zone is selected on the throttle. On the right side of the front panel, there is a nozzle indicator gauge which indicates the state of the ejector nozzle or current afterburner zone active. Increase the throttle until the second afterburner zone light appears. Try to keep the aircraft aimed as straight as possible down the runway center line. disappear. Level off at an altitude of 500 meters. The destination indicator will now display that the current waypoint has switched from LS, the start airfield, to the first navigation waypoint B1. Well done! This concludes the third lesson. Our next lesson will cover basic navigation. 